we did set aside some time to look at uh, the latest release candidate because there are a few cool things in it that we wanted to show off to you all. Um, so while you all are thinking of your questions, I'll hand it over to John um, to yeah. give us a little demo. Yeah, no problem. Uh, let's share my screen. Here we go. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, so primarily what I wanted to talk about in, uh, let's, let's arrange my Zoom things real quick, there we go, uh, is unmanaged cluster, which is coming in uh, V010 of Tanzu Community Edition and is what it's it's what's going to be kind of replacing in the future standalone cluster uh, as standalone cluster is being uh, deprecated. So what is unmanaged cluster? It gives you a single node uh, local workstation cluster with all of the TC bits installed on top of it, which primarily is cap controller and all of our packages. Uh, so I can come over here and we can do unmanaged cluster. Uh, let's just look at the help here quick. Uh, so this gives us our single node static tends to Kubernetes clusters as we see here. So let's uh, just jump into it and uh, start bootstrapping. So we can Tanzu unmanaged cluster create, and we're just going to call this first one my cluster. Uh, and that starts right away. Uh, I have a bunch of this stuff already downloaded on my machine, but right away it will start uh, pulling the bomb and the Tanzu Kubernetes release. As we can see here, our default one we're installing is v121.5, and it pulls the images for uh, deploying the Kubernetes cluster on top of kind. And then here it is actually creating the cluster. So this will be a little bit of a lull in the demo as uh, as it starts actually deploying the cluster on top of kind. Uh, but we've gotten this bootstrapping pretty stripped down, and it actually should be much, much faster than people have experienced with standalone cluster in the past. Uh, where now really this is uh, not going through the whole code path uh, that un uh, sorry that managed clusters uh, had, uh, where you had to have a bootstrapper and then that would actually get a cluster up. Uh, this is just our single node cluster right away that it's going to start now already built the cluster and it's going to start uh, getting cap controller on top of there as well uh, and doing all that. So uh, once that is done installing, we can actually take a look inside and see what uh, what it what it did. Uh, if there's any intermediate questions here <laughs> as this is bootstrapping, feel free to unmute and let me know. Uh, hey, this John, what is, a, what is a bomb and what's its importance to the process? Yeah, that's a great question, Josh. Uh, so a bomb is the bill of materials, and it sort of is the kind of declaration of what uh, individual pieces of software make up the broader platform of unmanaged cluster. Uh, there's also a bomb that goes out for managed clusters and uh, uh, framework clusters, TKG clusters. And right now they are uh, in a sense um, coupled together. So this bomb that we're consuming is the same one from uh, framework, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Josh. Uh, but uh, so that, that installed, it's done. Uh, great, wow, that took like two minutes or something. Uh, so now let's take a quick look inside. It automatically sets the context and uh, targets this new cluster that we have. So let's uh, get pods all. And we can see here that it has a bunch of stuff, primarily down here in the TKG system namespace, uh, cap controller. Uh, so speaking of which, let's scroll down a little bit. And we do get uh, cap controller, including all of the packages. And we do install the TC default package repository, uh, which is that same one that you would have used for uh, managed clusters and standalone clusters. Uh, so we can actually take a look and package available list. And this is going to give us a list of all the packages that we can install onto this cluster. And that workflow is pretty much exactly the same uh, as if you were using a managed cluster or a standalone cluster. So uh, you could install Cert Manager or Grafana or whatever. Uh, that's all available here. So cool. Very, very neat. Uh, another big thing that you can do with a uh, unmanaged clusters is you can actually configure the bootstrapping. So let's do unmanaged cluster, configure, let's look at the help real quick. And what that will actually do is dump out a YAML file, which gives us uh, the ability to then change those configuration options within the YAML file. Uh, there are also flags that are associated with each option in the configuration. So uh, let's do it. Uh, let's do unmanaged cluster, configure, and we're just going to call this hello uh, config. And it wrote our configuration file into hello config.yaml. Let's go in there and let's change some stuff. Uh, so let's do a different CNI, for example. Uh, unmanaged clusters support Calico. 
So we can change that to Calico. Let's save and quit that. And then we can use that configuration YAML file to actually deploy a new cluster. So let's do Tanzu unmanaged cluster, uh, create, give it the C option, which then we can point to our hello config. And then let's call this cluster uh, my other cluster. And that will start the bootstrapping process again. So this will be our second cluster that's getting deployed uh, locally here. And that will actually use Calico for our uh, for our CNI. Uh, so where is it getting Calico? That is uh, being, uh, I guess, deciphered from the bomb, which is what is being pointed to for the specific CNI. Uh, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make us go through this again because that'll take another minute or two. I uh, want to make sure we leave enough time towards the end for some questions. So I'm just gonna cancel that real quick, uh, and we'll keep trucking along. Uh, so as I mentioned. Uh, we do point to a default TKR, which is the Tanzu Kubernetes release, and defines which Kubernetes version and other pieces of software get deployed uh, on top of this as well. So we can actually configure that using unmanaged cluster. Uh, and as I said here, it was v1.21.5 is the default one. And using uh, the tac tac TKR option or in the config file, we can actually configure that. So first, uh, let's take a look at the image registry at what is available for that specific uh, image, which is slash TCE slash TKR. Uh, so I'm going to use my uh, history. And there it is, using Crane to take a look at what the different versions are. And I see that there is a slightly newer one right here, uh, v1.22.2. And we can use that as part of uh, this configuration uh, for creating a new cluster here. So I'm going to use my history again, so I don't have to type all that out somewhere <laughs> it's gonna be way back and history it's this one so here we're using the tac tac tkr option with that specific version of that image in the registry and we're going to call this cluster my tkr cluster and we start that right away and we can see that uh, i had already done this before so that tkr already exists but it is using tce tkr v1 22.2 that's a mouthful uh but that will include a new version of Kubernetes, I believe, and also a new version of Cap Controller, I believe. Um, so very cool. That's a different cluster with a different TKR just from a configuration option. Uh, so I'm actually going to uh, set this aside real quick, and we'll keep going in a different terminal. And there's a couple other really nice little things that we can do with unmanaged cluster. We can do a list, unmanage cluster list. And we can see all the clusters that we have deployed with the specific provider as well. Uh, that also takes an option. So let's say we wanted this in JSON and boom, there it is in JSON. Uh, and then obviously uh, we can also delete clusters using the delete uh, command on top of this. Uh, so we can do Tanzu, unmanaged cluster, delete. Now let's just delete that first one that we created, which was my cluster. And that should be deleted almost instantaneously because it lives on top of kind on this local machine. So uh, that in a big nutshell <laughs> is unmanaged cluster and kind of what we've been doing with that. 